everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Aqualung Omni BCD. So this is a very, a very new style BCD in that when you first look at it, it looks like a, pretty much any other jacket style BCD. It's It's got an inflator, it's jacket style, pockets on the side, but actually on the inside, there's a very, very different feature to it in that it's completely customizable in that the shoulder straps come separate and the back plate is a separate item, the waistband is a separate item, and then you fully assemble them into a BCD. I mean, this in itself isn't actually complete because it doesn't have a color accent kit fitted onto it. So it's a very customizable jacket, almost hybrid BCD, in that you can kind of chop and change and make it your own because what they basically did with the Outlaw BCD is they looked at divers and they found that a lot of divers, they were struggling with the standard small, medium and large sizes on their BCDs because if you were a slightly unusual body shape, then okay, you, you required the, the length of an extra large back plate, but if you were tall and skinny, it meant that you had a huge waistband. So Aqualung came up with their Modlock system in that you can customize each of those individual components and come up with almost a custom BCD that fits you. And a couple generations later, they came up with the Omni, which gives you a lot of choice, a lot of customizability, and a jacket style BCD where you can practically pick and choose which color it is. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so this is how it arrives. It comes in a, uh, a sort of a fabric bag, so you can reuse this. Uh, no plastic, so eco-friendly. A uh, little bit smaller than their standard um, uh, BCD bag, but still perfectly big enough to fit your BCD inside of. Um, Velcro opening, and then on the inside is all of the bits to your Omni BCD. So if I get those out, so the first one is the bladder. So the bladder, this is the bit that inflates, this is the bit with the pockets on the side. You get your um, uh, your inflator hose, you also get the uh, the low pressure inflator hose that you then connect to your, uh, to your regulator. And then we have our shoulder straps, uh, so a pair of shoulder straps, and uh, and then these will then click onto the uh, onto the back plate and then sort of integrate into this section of the BCD waistband. Um, so two sort of waistband pocket sections. Uh, so this is part of the sort of the shore lock system. So you can fit your weight pouches in there. Note that it doesn't come with weight pouches. You buy them with the color accessory kit. A few of these bits are going to be a bit like that where you get most of the BCD, but for the entire thing, you actually need that color accent kit to uh, to complete the whole thing. One of the main um, sort of sections is in that uh, sort of weight pouch, so the weight pouches aren't actually included. Um, but there's your uh, your waistband, and then the back plate itself. That's everything in the bag. So the back plate, so this has the sort of adjustable section to your shoulder straps, uh, the Velcro sections, which is what's uh, again part of the color accent kit, is going to attach onto that and sort of tuck in underneath there. On the back, we have our grip lock cam band, the kind of the rigid section uh, that creates the cradle to your your back plates, and then sort of mod lock sections for everything from the shoulder straps to additional weight uh, sort of trim weight pouches. Um, yeah, that's that's it. I'm just going to assemble it quickly just so that we can take a closer look. Right, so here's the Omni sort of pretty well built. Um, you'll notice and I'll point out sort of where things are missing that you would get in the color accent kit. Um, but if you just buy the, the base BCD, 
this is what you're gonna get. Um, the additional bits, yeah, I'll, I'll point them out later. So taking a closer look, starting up over your left-hand shoulder, you have uh, Aqualung's traditional corrugated inflator hose, and it's got that sort of funky little flare off to one side, which kind of cradles that low-pressure inflator hose, so that holds it in position. You have two latch kind of clip-in points for it, so it keeps your inflator hose from dangling and flipping around. Um, and then going down to the inflator, Later. The standard inflator, very easy to get used to. You've got the soft squidgy uh, sort of gray button, so that's your inflate button, and then the deflate is down there on the tip, and of course you can orally inflate it. There's a stainless steel cable on the inside of this corrugated hose, so if you just pull that inflator down from your left hand shoulder, <laughs> it actually vents the top uh, valve of your BCD. So if you're on the surface, there's a really quick way to start a dive by yanking that down and that'll open up that valve and then all the air rushes out of the top and you start to descend. So that's a quick way to start your dive. One thing you'll notice is that this doesn't have a retainer uh, to hold that in position. That's part of the color kit, so that goes through this section here, and, uh, and then you just get a Velcro tab which kind of holds your inflator hose over the, uh, your left hand shoulder, so you get to choose what color that is. Underneath the inflator, pre-bent metal stainless steel D-ring. It's pre-bent so the bottom of the D-ring just lifts away from the bottom of that strap, so it's very easy to clip things on and off onto that. Um, and then further down, you'll see this section of plastic. So this is for your chest strap. So it's adjustable and obviously removable, again with the color kit, so that will attach onto there and uh, sort of join those two shoulder straps. And then you can move it up or down if you don't like it too high, because it gets around your neck, then you can move it a little bit further down, or if you want to, you can take it off completely. These shoulder uh, straps, they're padded, it's a nice mesh, uh, so quite a light mesh as well, so that'll dry out quite quickly. They have their Omni Swill design on that, so this buckle just allows for a greater ergonomics, so that strap can just be much uh, more ergonomic, um, and, but then if you push in that center, that's how you undo it. So it's still quick release. You can get in and out of the BCD really quickly. Pretty much the same over the right hand shoulder strap. You still have the, um, the pre-bent metal D-ring um, and the, uh, the optional chest strap. But one thing you do have is this little pull toggle. So this attaches at the top with a little bayonet fitting to the bladder and that attaches to that pull dump, the over pressure dump over your right hand shoulder. I'll show you that when I turn it around. That's a nice low profile, but uh, if you pull that down, again, that will vent that BCD. Moving down in the center, so we have this padded section over your shoulders uh, with the big branding Omni in the center. This sort of mesh padding uh, again, so it's gonna dry out quickly. And then just below it, you will see we have these two sections of Velcro. So as I said earlier, this is where that pad section, which is on the color kit, is going to attach onto the back there, adding extra padding, but also a little bit of uh, sort of color onto your BCD. Looking at the waist, so on both sides you have these two little grommets, so these are where a BCD uh, integrated knife can fit, so you can bolt your knife onto that and the same on the other side depending on where you want it. Two-way adjustable pockets, now these don't have zipper pulls because guess what, you can choose the color of those. Um, so two-way adjustable just means that if you want to open it from the front you can, if you need to open it from the back you can. Decent sized pockets inside of that. Uh, because the BCD is fully inflated, I can't really show you the, the actual size, but it does uh, sort of bellow out. You have this sort of gusseted section, so it does open up. So even when it's fully inflated, you can still get stuff inside, but obviously when it's deflated, you can get more inside. Underneath that, you have the Shorelock 2 weight lock system that just fits in there and clicks into position. And then across the front, you have a two-way adjustable pinch clip just to uh, sort of adjust that. 
turning the BCD to the side, you can see this is what I call a, a hybrid. So it's kind of halfway between a jacket style and a wing style, in that the inflation of the bladder does go around the side, so it's a jacket style, but they have this sort of section, which is almost wing-like, in that when you're in the water and you put a little bit of air into your BCD, it naturally fits in these two lobes, which are more shaped like a wing style BCD that wrap around the tank and actually hold you horizontal in the water. It has these elasticated retention straps, so as you deflate it, it's naturally going to curl itself back in, so you don't get all of this material just kind of flapping in the water. It tucks it away, keeps it nice and close to your body. Keep turning it around. And here we have that pull dump over your left hand shoulder. You have the pull dump over your right hand shoulder and you see how flat that is against the BCD. So very low profile. So if you're swimming in overhead environments, there's no way anything's gonna touch that because your cylinders are just gonna get in the way. You have a little grab handle um, with a pinch clip adjustable section. And this is actually holding the top of that bladder into the harness or both together. Further down, it's all sort of flexible moving further down until you reach this section inside here. On the other side of this, you have that uh, sort of plastic sort of semi um, back plate as such. But the main selling point for this for me is in this grip lock cam band. So unlike a traditional cam band where you have to thread through that buckle, really complicated. If you need to adjust the size of this cam band, you just undo a bit of Velcro, you lengthen off the strap, and that's it. To be able to clamp it down, you have this two-part metal clamp. And this is probably one of the better ones on the market in that when you go to connect it, you slip it over a tank, you then put it back into the, uh, into the clamp, but then when you clamp it down, it pauses. So this just gives you a moment to get your fingers out of the way of that mechanism and then when you're ready and everything's out of the way you push on that and that really clamps it down onto the tank. To lift it off you have this section here, just push on that and it undoes. So very quick and easy to swap over tanks, especially if there are different sizes as well. On your right hand kidney you have another one of those low pressure, uh, sorry, low profile uh, pull dumps, kidney dumps on your right hand kidney and there's that little uh, sort of thread leading down to a toggle down in the uh, sort of small of your right back. And, uh, and that's it. Uh, lots of additional extras as well. Um, on the inside here, uh, you've got these sort of modlock sections so you can add trim weight pockets. Uh, you can get those from Aqualung as well and that will click and lock into position. So it's one of those, if you want it, you can upgrade and have it. Uh, but if you don't feel like you ever need it, then you don't need that extra expense, but you can upgrade if you want to. Uh, a lot of the things that aren't on this BCD will be included in that uh, sort of color kit. I'll mention that in a different video showing you exactly what you get. Um, but yeah, if you just order the base BCD, this is what's gonna arrive. Uh, and yeah, you just need one of those color kits just to finish it off. Right, so let's review the Omni BCD. So first of all, who is it for? So it's a jacket style recreational BCD for divers who want to be able to customize their BCD in that you get the color accents as a separate item, but it's really required to, uh, to complete the BCD. It's, it is a jacket style BCD. So for someone who wants that kind of wraparound kind of feel, but because it's got that hybrid wing to it, it means that it's gonna hold you in a better position in the water. So it's really for traveling recreational divers who want a BCD that either is a jacket style or something that they can wear at home as well, that good sort of all rounder, but also for a bit of longevity as well, because you will be able to get replacement shoulder straps and replacement bits and bobs for it. So that if you do need to replace one part of it, you don't have to replace the entire BCD. That being said, when you are fully assembling it, especially for the first time, it is a bit fiddly in places and it does require an instruction manual. There was parts on this where 
you have this strap and you're not entirely sure exactly where it's supposed to go, um, but it's only through reading through the instructions you find out, ah, it needs to attach and thread through here. So it does take a little bit of uh, sort of time to fully understand exactly what's going on. Um, but it does kind of make sense in that, yeah, divers aren't all small, medium or large. You do get different shapes and sizes, so you can customise and have longer shoulder straps or shorter shoulder straps, whatever you particularly need. Now, um, so to actually numerically review it, so BCDs we have four different categories and then the fifth overall score. Uh, so we're looking at the comfort of the BCD because you're going to be wearing it, um, the features that are on it, uh, the overall weight, because that is quite important for FBCDs, especially for traveling scuba divers, uh, the cost, because yeah, that is, of course, um, a huge consideration when buying a BCD, and then that overall score. So first of all, looking at comfort, lots of padding on this, lots of adjustability, and in that sort of mod lock, um, sort of modular system, it has to get five out of five because there are very few BCDs where you can literally change the size of the shoulder strap or change the size of the back plate without changing everything else. So this BCD was really designed for comfort and yeah, everywhere it's gonna be sort of touching or against your skin uh, or against your body, your wetsuit, whatever, you have plenty of mesh padding and yeah, it's just everything about it is designed for comfort to make sure that your BCD fits you properly. So five out of five uh, just sort of makes sense. Then looking at features, yeah, five again. So this is really sort of aimed at the sort of top tier um, of a, uh, Aqua Lungs BCD range in that it has the the nicer features so the the grip lock cam band you don't get that on all of their BCDs you only get it on their higher end BCDs knife grommets and uh, sort of quick, uh, integrated weight pockets two-way adjustable pockets decent uh, sort of tough material as well that abrasion resistance um, and all of the the mod lock and optional systems that are on it yeah, five out of five again, um, because it, it, it is tricked out. It does have everything that you could possibly want. Um, the only thing that doesn't come as standard, other than the color kit, um, is that it doesn't come with trim weight pouches. Now, not everybody uses trim weight pouches, so that's fine, um, but they've given you that option as well. If you want to use trim weight pouch, uh, pouches, you can use them and fit them to the other uh, BCD. It's, it's not something that they forced upon you, um, but they have given you that option. A lot of other BCDs, if it doesn't have trim weight pockets, it doesn't have them, but with this one, it could have them, which is quite clever, I quite like. Then we're looking at the weight. As far as the weight, this is uh, this is fine. I'd be quite happy uh, sort of traveling with that. Uh, I don't have an exact number, but it's a lot lighter than a lot of my BCDs that I've traveled with. So uh, so that's perfectly fine. Um, five, uh, again, it's it's got tough pockets. It's got metal D-rings and whatnot. It's got the, uh, sort of the really robust uh, sort of materials to it, but they've still kept that weight down low. So yeah, five out of five for that. As far as cost, it's an expensive BCD. Um, there's no sort of two rights, uh, two ways about it, especially when you have to get the uh, the color kit on top of it. It is an additional cost, but again, it's it's all of the materials, it's all of the best features that you have on Aqualung BCDs. So it it kind of merits that kind of price, and because it's got the new system in Modlock, um, yeah, you have these additional features that you don't get on other traditional BCDs. So those are all gonna contribute um, to the cost. So unfortunately, I've only given it a two out of five because it is on the expensive range. It is a premium BCD. It's that unique kind of uh, sort of concept to it. And, uh, and all those additional features are gonna come at a premium. So you do have to expect to, uh, to invest a bit more in a BCD like this. So overall, it's got a score of eight and a half out of 10. So yeah, very good BCD. And um, yeah, I would be happy using it. Um, it. It's got everything that I need in a BCD and everything from like the, the additional um, sort of benefits in that sort of mod lock system in, yes, if you do break or uh, sort of cut through a strap, 
for whatever reason accidentally, um, then yeah, you can replace just that. But also in that mod lock system, it's not just fitting a strap, it's hinging a strap. So that strap is much more ergonomic and it's all these little things that all just add up to, um, to a very nice BCD. Um, it's just, yeah, it, it is more expensive than a traditional one size, small, medium or large. Okay, so that's the Aqualung Omni BCD. Uh, a very clever take and something a little bit different on the market. Uh, is this gonna be the future of scuba diving? I don't think so. I don't think every single BCD is going to be this kind of modular system where you can pick and choose exactly what sort of shape and size and color it is, but it is nice that we do have that option because if you do struggle with BCDs and finding a BCD that fits your particular body shape, perfectly, this might be your answer. And because you can color customize it, then it just means that you can personalize it to your own preferences. As a general BCD, it is a good tough BCD, plenty of lift, the material and the finish on it is very, very nice. As far as weight, it's not a particularly heavy BCD, so I'd be quite happy um, sort of traveling with this, but you do have pockets and uh, sort of weight integration and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you have their, uh, their grip lock cam band as well, which is a real selling point for me. So yeah, it's, it's a nice BCD and a very unique concept, so, definitely worth considering. There's gonna be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. Just click on the link down in the description below. Thank you for watching and of course, safe diving.